We're here in sunny Cornwall doing a happy energy video about commercial biomass boilers. This property uses a 200 kilowatt pellet boiler to feed a district heating system for holiday cottages and farm buildings. So now we're in the biomass boiler plant room itself. We have here a 200 kilowatt wood energy solutions uh, pellet boiler, it's the e-compact model. Uh, wood energy solution boilers are made in Ireland but they are distributed and sold in the UK. Um, the top unit here is the auger, so it's just a screw mechanism that feeds the pellets back through from the store that we'll see uh, later on at the back. Uh, the pellets uh, come through the screw, fall down into the boiler, there's a small um, local store here that stores a small amount of pellets. They get burnt, uh, that then heats this buffer vessel. So it's a 4000 litre hot water tank. Uh, this isn't the hot water that comes out of the, the taps of the property, so it's not domestic hot water, it's literally a heat store. Biomass boilers like to be uh, heated um, long and low, so consistent heat. Uh, if they're consistently turning on and off, uh, there's still pellets in there burning away, so that heat just ends up getting wasted. So we're now inside the pellet store. It's a converted ship's container which holds about 15 tonnes of pellets. Uh, the floor is V-shaped to allow the pellets to work their way down to the bottom. You then have an auger that feeds the, the pellets through all the way through into the boiler. Pellets are delivered through uh, an oil tanker sized vehicle that blows the pellets in with one tube and sucks out the dust and reduces the pressure with a second. Roughly speaking at the moment about £200 per tonne of pellets and that tonne of pellets will deliver 4,800 kilowatt hours of heat. Uh, the good thing about pellets as opposed to wood chips is they do have um, a specific standard and they will generate a certain amount of heat whereas wood chip can actually get damper and produce less, less energy per, per tonne. Um, in terms of running costs, wood pellets are going to be more expensive than mains gas. It will actually be probably 20-30% cheaper than oil or LPG. Uh, and again, compared to oil, you're going to reduce your CO2 emissions quite substantially. So the wood pellet generates very little ash. Um, most uh, commercial boilers, but most boilers have uh, an ash bin that automatically takes the ash out. So in here we have um, the ash which I understand the, the person that owns the boiler empties probably every three or four weeks. Um, it's, it's perfectly safe just to chuck on the garden. Um, wood pellets generate probably less than 1%, I think something like 0.7% of the weight comes out in ash. So generally you only have to empty them once a, once a month at the most. We're now inside the plant room for two of the holiday cottages. Um, the boiler feeds a heat main, insulated heat main, which runs around underground in front of all the properties. It comes into the plant room, uh, it then splits off into 15 mil copper pipe work, which goes around just a normal radiator system. We've got two hot water cylinders, uh, one that feeds each of the properties, and again, uh, the two heat main uh, large diameter pipes feed all of these items, uh, and then it returns back to the buffer vessel that we saw earlier. Through the Renewable Heat Incentive, or RHI, this commercial boiler is uh, entitled to a 20-year payment, which is paid quarterly by Ofgem. It's based on a, a, a metered basis, so you need a heat meter. This system's generated 97,000 kilowatt hours in the last six to seven months, uh, which is worth about 8,000 pounds in RHI payments. You have tier one and tier two RHI payments. Uh, tier one is basically the first amount of heat you generate, which is 8.6 P, compared to the fuel cost of about 4 P. Uh, tier 2 is 2.2p. So to calculate the tier 1, it's 1,314 hours multiplied by the size of the boiler. So this is a 200 kilowatt boiler. So about 260,000 kilowatt hours of, of use will get 8.6p through the year. Once it drops down past that 260,000 kilowatt hours, it goes down to 2.2p. So quite often it's good to size the boiler to try and only to kind of hit that, that peak 1,314 hours. So commercial biomass is essentially commercial buildings but it can also be district heating so you only need to have two houses together uh, to get the, the commercial RHI which is 20 years. There is a domestic RHI which has just started but that's only paid over seven years so if you want to connect a number of houses together you can actually get a, a longer payment. A system like this 200 kilowatt boiler probably cost around 100, 150,000 pounds to install but over its lifetime over the 20 years probably generates somewhere between seven and eight hundred thousand pounds in RHI payments.